Welcome back. Sarah Anderson is a local author that has taken her creativity and her writing skills to a whole new level. She is gearing up for two more releases this year, correct? Mm -hmm. Two more releases. So, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us You're this morning. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration as an author. Well, um, I started writing when my son was two and a half and had started sleeping through the night. And that <laughs> freed up a lot of brain space that allowed me to really start thinking. I had a story idea. It wouldn't leave me alone. And I started writing it down to try and get it out of my head. It was a terrible novel, but I learned how to write one. And I kept writing. That's kind of the key. You've got to keep writing when you're writing. And sooner or later, my characters wound up west of the Mississippi, out amongst the Lakota Indians. And those were the books that started to get attention from the publishing professionals. My first book, A Man of His Word, came out in December of last year. And my next book comes out on July 3rd. Congratulations. Thank you. In July th uh, 7th, you're gearing up for a book signing for your new book. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect with A Man of Privilege, right? A Man of Privilege mm -hmm. follows uh, James Carlson, who is a character carried over from the first book. Uh, he is a blue blood, East Coach, rich boy lawyer who is prosecuting the case of his life. And after he gets, wins this case, he's going to run for public office. However, the case rests upon a former hooker and junkie named ah, Maggie Eagleheart. always Eagleheart. a good twist. Yes. Um, he is expecting a former hooker and not the woman who walks in his door. So it's uh, about the tension that explored between his professional interests and his personal desires. So if we want to get one of your books and get it signed by you, where can we go and when? Well, I will be at Great Debates on July 7th mm -hmm. uh, from 10 until 1. I will be, have, I will be giving off a, a book necklace that I made myself, and mm -hmm. I will also be handing out chocolate. Uh, it's a requirement. <laughs> I'll be signing books then. and Otherwise, uh, they're available at most Walmart, Shopco's, Kmart's for about a month, or you can get them online at any retailer. Wonderful. Now, let's switch gears a little bit, too, because you said that you're a mother. So how do you balance this? You're a mother. You're an author. Tell us what that's like. I, it, it is all about finding what works for you because I also have a part-time job, but I pick up my kid from school every day. Wow. Um, so sometimes I, I write from home two days a week. Sometimes I write a book on the weekend. Sometimes I watch Phineas and Ferb on the weekend. <laughs> it's about finding, <laughs> finding the balance that works for you. So that means, if that means writing until midnight one night and then not writing at all the next day, then it's being flexible like that. Do you have any advice for someone who's wanting to get started writing their own book? write the book. If you want to be a writer, you have to do the book. You can do market research, you can, you can investigate business uh, practices, you can stalk auto editors and agents online, but if you don't write the book, you're not a writer. Okay, very good information. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. Well, good luck with your newest release Thanks. is. There's two of them coming out. We'll look for the other one, what month? September 4th. Okay, so July and September, we'll be keeping our eye out for that. Yep. Thank you so much for joining us thank this you. morning, Sarah. All right.